Hey, what's up, guys? I think we got it. First off, I want to thank my buddy Greg Smoke for helping me out and Josh Cal for testing this. That way, it saves me a little bit of time and honestly, it's been kind of rough lately. So it's awesome that they were able to help test with this so I can actually make this video sooner because I don't have to validate as much on my own. So quick recap, what is the issue exactly? Well, about once every two hours or so, buttons will stick. And if you do any kind of competitive play, that is totally unacceptable because it will get you killed in the game as it does with me. Side note, I've heard through the comments that the V2 has this issue as well. If that is true, this should leave that issue if it is the same thing within Razer Sign App. If you look online, most people say that the fix is to delete Razer Sign Apps. Well, that's great, but then you have a keypad that doesn't have macro functionality and it doesn't have re remapping functionality. So my thought is, well, if there is another bit of software that could take the place of Razer Synapse, well, then you'd have a fix. Fix. And it turns out there, there is. There is a program called Rewast that will take over the uh, TARDIS Pro and remap all the keys. A lot of people say online that Auto Hotkey can do this, but the problem with Auto Hotkey is if you remap one key, it will also remap it on your keyboard, and that's not good. So you need a program that can differentiate connected devices, which Rewas can. So there is one downside on how this will work. The problem is if you uninstall Razer Synapse and you have more than one Razer device and it doesn't have onboard memory to save your settings, you will lose all of that. Your lighting functions will go away, and that's just, if that bugs you, this is gonna be a problem. As for me, like, I have a Razer keyboard, and I, don't judge me, the Razer Firefly, if I delete Razer Synapse, the Firefly is not gonna do anything. It'll probably just do some random profile. So if you're okay with losing that, then you're good to go. Also, if, when you uninstall Razer Synapse, the TARDIS Pro will inevitably lose it's lighting uh, settings that you have. So to make this work is quite simple. I'll turn it over to my computer so you can see the installation process of Rewast, but setup is generally a breeze. So this is Rewast. It is key mapping software. It is paid. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's six dollars for the base version, twenty for the advance. Just go ahead, agree to install, and click yes. It does come with a free trial, so you don't have to buy it like right away. And for the advanced features, you get like a three-day trial or whatnot. And go on ahead and reboot. Okay, booting up Rewast at this point. This is the main menu. So if you see on the left-hand side, these are all the devices I have connected to my computer. And on the top right, those are profiles. So I need to find my... Tartarus Pro, there it is. And we're gonna select the keyboards because we're editing the key bindings. And then go to the top right and then create a new profile for your computer. I'm gonna call it Overwatch because I play a lot of Overwatch and that's what I'll mainly be using this for. Hit OK, add. And on the top, you'll see these are profiles we can switch between for different key maps using a shift function. But at this point, what we need to do is figure out what keys we need to reassign because, well, we don't know what the default keys that are assigned to the Tartarus Pro are. So we need to Google a keyboard tester and figure out what keys are what so we know, you know, which ones we want to reassign with key mapping or possibly macros. All right, so we're going to launch the tester and spam like all the keys on the Tartarus Pro so we can figure out what the default layout is for the Tartarus Pro when Synapse is not installed. So we click to add a new key map and I usually reassign the one key to escape on the Tartarus Pro when I play Overwatch. And we can just click escape there. One thing to note here is these layouts, this is to narrow down what we have to choose from. A cool thing here is if you look in standard keyboard, 
you can see that it goes all the way to F24 right here. And what that would be useful for is if you actually want to do macros, you could use those and key map one of those on the Taurus Pro and then use something like Auto Hotkey to trigger those macros. But I'm just doing escape. And you would do this for any key you want to remap. And here there's different options you have for key presses. So you can do a long press, double press, triple press, <laughs> start press and release press for your key bindings. So real quick, I wanna show you guys what I try to do to make Synapse not recognize the TARDIS Pro. Right here, you can see what drivers are installed. This right here is the driver that I think is the issue, is that driver right there. If you went through that directory and found that driver, you can actually put it in an editor. And if you could find a way to make that driver not communicate to Synapse, then I think that might fix the issue where we actually are forced to un uninstall Razor Synapse to make this work. But if someone smarter than me could figure it out, you know, that would be awesome. That way more people could actually do this and it'd be more convenient. Obviously the best fix would be to have Razor actually fix the crap, but who knows when that will happen. So that's it guys. I know there's not a lot of keypad alternatives out there, so I hope if you really like this thing and you just want it to work and you don't really care about lights and all that, that this fix will be good enough for you to get you by until either Razor fixes the damn thing or something else comes along on the market to take this thing's place. So that's it. Thanks for watching.